Every family is different, but some families are quite special and peculiar in their own way. From a family that has lived on the water for nearly a decade to a vampire couple that blur the line between fiction and reality. Here are 15 most unusual families in the world. Make sure you stick around till the end of the video because we have a surprise for you at number one. Number 15, the family that never leaves. We kickstart this unusual adventure with what could probably be the wildest story you've ever heard. Meet Oscar and Suzanne Angulo, who live in the heart of New York with their seven children. On the outside, they probably look like the perfect American family. But when you dig deeper into their story, you discover a truth that is stranger than fiction. For 14 years, this family never left their tiny home in Manhattan's Lower East Side, nor did they have any contact with the outside world. The father, Oscar, is a Peruvian immigrant and appears to suffer from serious paranoia and some alcohol problems. He believed that the streets of New York would contaminate his children, so he kept them locked in the house for over a decade and kept the only key to the front door with himself. Even the mother didn't have a key, and all the kids had to grow up in seclusion. The seven children, Bhagavan, twins Govinda and Narayana, Mukunda, Krishna, Jagadesh, and their only sister Vishnu, had to be homeschooled by their mother. They didn't have the luxury of going to a high school, making friends, or enjoying other people's company. All they've ever known is limited within their confined existence. The family is collectively known as the Wolf Pack, and they even have a documentary movie made about their strange story. Surprisingly, these kids actually know more about the outside world than you can imagine, despite the fact that they've practically been living under a rock for decades. To catch a glimpse of what life is like on the outside, these guys watch a lot of movies. They would spend most of their time reenacting their favorite movies, especially works by Quentin Tarantino, Christopher Nolan, and Martin Scorsese, among others. Imagine being stuck with your annoying siblings all day every day. It would definitely drive you crazy, right? But if you think their story is strange, you should see what comes next. Number 14. The Ulis Family most people walk on two legs, and that's absolutely normal. But how about this Turkish family, where instead of walking on two legs like everybody else, these guys walk on all fours? Meet the Ulus family from southeastern Turkey, who have captivated the world with their unique and extraordinary ability. Almost every member of this family practices this distinctive bear crawl-like walk that has left scientists questioning everything they've ever believed about human evolution. They have even been described as the missing link between man and ape, and might help us bridge the gap that has remained unfillable in the history of our evolution. Among Razir and Hattis Ulas's 19 children, only seven exhibit this strange phenomenon, although one of them has sadly passed away. According to the mother, all 19 children started walking on all fours, but 12 of them were later able to balance on two feet. So, what strange condition could be behind this distinctive anomaly? According to medical experts, the condition was identified as non-progressive congenital cerebellar ataxia. To put it simply, individuals with this rare condition encounter serious difficulties maintaining their balance when standing upright on two legs. To overcome this hurdle, they instead choose to adopt this quadrupedal gait, utilizing both their feet and palms. Many people have often pointed out the semblance in their quadrupedal gait and that of chimpanzees, but there is a slight difference. You see, chimps are known to walk with their knuckles, but this family utilizes their palm instead, further underscoring the uniqueness of their condition. Further studies are currently being done to unravel the mystery behind this case as we marvel at nature's uncanny ability to reverse evolution. Number 13, the Solar Boys. Shoaib Ahmed and Abdul Rashid are two young boys from Islamabad, Pakistan, who suffer from a really strange condition. Throughout the day, these boys would be as vibrant and energetic as every other normal child, but everything changes as soon as night falls. The boys would then immediately fall into a vegetative state, leaving them almost paralyzed as they battled for their lives throughout the night. But as soon as the sun came up, they would be perfectly fine. Pretty strange, right? The two boys came to be known as the Solar Boys in their village because everyone believed they derived their power from the sun. When medical practitioners first tested these unusual kids, they were astonished at their discovery. 
This was a disease unlike anything they've ever seen. The condition responsible for their troubles was identified as a congenital disease called myasthenia syndrome. So far, there are only 600 confirmed cases in the world, so you know this condition is extremely rare. Interestingly, the three other children of the family were perfectly normal and didn't exhibit any signs of the strange condition, unlike their two brothers. Luckily for the Solar Boys, the drugs prescribed to try and alleviate their pain seemed to work miracles. Back in 2016, news outlets all around the world reported that the boys had finally recovered from the condition. Thanks to the tireless efforts of the medical practitioner, Shoaib and Rashid can now enjoy a life of ease and health, both during the day and at nighttime. Number 12. Ziona Chana how inappropriate would it be to compile a list of the most unusual families in the world without exploring the lives of the world's largest family? Travel with us to the village of Bak Tong, Mizoram, in the far northeast of India, where Ziona Chana lives with his massive family. No matter how big your family is, this one is definitely bigger. During his lifetime, Ziona Hana was said to have had 38 wives and 89 children, the children then gave him 33 grandchildren, expanding his massive family even further. Although polygamy is officially illegal in India, Ziona Chana is a member of a Christian sect known as the Chana Paul. The sect was created by his father, which is pretty convenient, and boasts of about 2,000 members, most of which live in Mizoram. The Chana Paul permitted polygamy as a way of life, and of course, this man took as many wives as he could. His last marriage was said to have been in 2004 to a 25-year-old woman. What's even more amazing about this family is the fact that they all live under one roof. Known as the New Generation Home, the house features 100 rooms, with the wives sharing a dormitory near Kana's private room. At least seven of the wives stay around him at all times, attending to his every need. On June 13, 2021, Ziona Chana passed away at the age of 76, leaving behind a legacy that's pretty hard to keep up with. His story continues to generate much interest even after his passing, although we're not sure any of his children will want to follow in his footsteps. Number 11. The King with 100 Wives from India, we travel to Cameroon, a country in West Africa, as we explore the story of another unusual family that will blow your mind. This is King Abumbi II, the 11th king of the Bafut region in Cameroon. His story gained international attention after it was revealed that this ruler had not two, not ten, not even twenty, but one hundred wives. Yes, you heard that right. Seventy-two of these wives were married to his father, and according to the tradition, every new king inherits his father's wives. Not only did he inherit these women, but he also became the custodian of over 500 children, including his own. The practice of inheriting the queens of a previous king is based on the belief that the elderly wives should be shouldered with the responsibility of handing down the traditions of the palace to the younger wives. These queens are often well-spoken, able to speak several languages, and are very accomplished in their education. Although the practice of polygamy is often questioned in Cameroon, King Abumbi II believes it is his responsibility to preserve the culture of his people, and that every single one of the wives holds a special place in his heart. We can only wonder how he's able to remember the names of every single wife off the top of his head. Number 10. A Family Made of Glass this next story will definitely tug at your heartstrings. Imagine having bones as fragile as glass. While this may seem like a nightmare for many people, this is the reality of Annecy, a bright and happy teenager who suffers from a rare disease known as osteogenesis imperfecta, commonly known as brittle bone disease. For the first seven years of her life, Anise was stuck in an orphanage. That was until Lisa and Chris, a couple who also suffered from the same condition, decided to take her in. There, she found the love and acceptance she had been craving for, for so many years. Growing up in an orphanage, without the love and attention of a birth mother, was a pretty terrible experience for Anise. But all that is in the past now. In total, Anise is said to have broken or fractured her bones over 200 times. With the help of her parents, she has learned to take care of herself, adapt to the requirements of her condition, and avoid situations that could lead to serious injuries. The family also has a couple of service dogs, who are always at their beck and call, at times when they need a helping hand in achieving simple tasks. These dogs help them retrieve items, close the fridge, open the door, and do all sorts of simple tasks around the house. Although they're definitely not your average family, these three unique individuals have learned to find acceptance in their imperfections and are 
constantly surrounded by the love of their families and everyone whose heart reaches out to them. Anise recently completed her first two years of college, and she believes that the world is hers for the taking. Number 9. Strongest Family in the World Up next, we explore the story of another unusual family. Back in 2013, Nick Best, Callie Marondi, and their two kids, Dylan and Jessica, took the world by storm when they became recognized as the world's strongest family in the world. Together, they would spend up to 140 hours a week working out. Nick Best, the father of the house, previously competed in the famous world's strongest man competition, which was where he met his wife, Callie, who was also a bodybuilder. Since their first taste of fame in 2013, the family has undergone a serious transformation, and they're probably unrecognizable today. Dylan, who is now 22, has grown nearly as tall as his father, with even broader shoulders. Although it would definitely be hard to keep up a life of fitness, Dylan appears to be doing a pretty good job, as he appears to still be in good shape. Then there's the tiny little Jessica, who is now transformed into a doppelganger of her mother. Just like her brother, she revealed that the rigorous strong woman lifestyle isn't really for her, although she plans on staying in shape. But unlike the children, Nick and Callie refuse to give up their strange addiction to fitness. Together, the pair still post regular impressive workout videos on their Instagram account. Nick, who has amassed a staggering 374,000 followers, once posted a video where he performed 50 reps of 500 pounds deadlift, broken down into five sets of 10. As expected, people had a lot to say about this family and the effects of constant exercise on the growth and development of kids. But with these recent snaps, it's obvious that this family has cracked the code to a healthy and fit lifestyle. Number 8. The Trap Family No matter how tall you are, there is a very high chance that you're shorter than the shortest person in this family. This is the Trap Family, regarded as the tallest family in the world, with a combined average height of 6 feet 8.0 inches. This is an actual record confirmed by the Guinness World Records. According to Guinness reporter Alicia Marie Rodriguez, the youngest member of this Minnesota family, Adam Trapp, stands at about 7 feet and 3 inches at just 23 years old. Then there's Savannah Trapp Blackfield, the oldest of the siblings, who stands at a towering height of 6 feet and 8 inches. Finally, there's Molly Steed, who is 25, and stands at 6 feet and 6 inches tall. The shortest member of this family is the mother, Chrissy, who's about 6 feet and 3 inches tall, while the father, Scott, stands at a height of 6 feet and 8 inches. Although they knew they were all pretty tall, they didn't actually believe they were the tallest in the world, until Adam introduced the idea of reaching out to Guinness World Records. After the family was measured by an orthopedic named Dr. Anna Sudo in December 2020, the record was confirmed. Each member of the family had to be measured three times throughout the day, both standing up and lying down. But before they even got an official record, the Trap family had become used to the recognition that their astonishing height brought. Everyone would constantly stare at them as they tried to live their normal lives. The family is also pretty athletic, and many of them dabble in sports like basketball, handball, and volleyball. Getting something out of the top shelf will definitely be a breeze in this home. Number 7. The Family That Lives on a Boat For many of us, sailing through the water inspires a different kind of joy that cannot really be explained. But some people take this to another level. Meet Kristen Christiansen and Sophina Kwan, a lovely couple who have spent almost a decade living on a sailboat. Yes, you heard that right? This couple has not only made the boat their home, but they have also given birth to two children right on the boat with the help of midwives. Pretty strange, right? Well, when you consider the cost of living in this part of the world, you will understand why they had to make such a decision. You see, this couple live in Vancouver, British Columbia, which is one of the most expensive cities in Canada. It has even been described as the third most expensive city in North America, to give you an idea of how high the cost of living here is. To survive in such a high-cost city, the couple devised a unique solution. Since they both loved the water so much, they decided to move into this 60-foot-long sailboat. The boat is docked inside a marina in Vancouver and is basically the size of a small apartment. There isn't a ton of space, but living like this saves them a whole lot of money. Their two children have also learnt to love the water and are currently being homeschooled by their mother. However, this family doesn't really plan on living in the boat forever. They are currently working on building their next home on a nearby island, but their current lifestyle will always be ingrained into their lives. According to the couple, living on the water was a matter of choice, not a 
necessity. In reality, the two are actually successful business owners. Kristen is an artist who builds signs for different businesses around the city, while Sofina helps run a family business where they sell clothing that are made from natural fibers and natural dyes. This means that even if they decide to live on land, they can definitely afford it. But the thrill of living on the water and the attention that comes with being different from everybody else is what drives them to maintain their chosen lifestyle. Number 6. The Most Tattooed Couple when Charles Guttenberg and Charles Helmke met in a tattoo parlor back in 2006, it was like a match made in heaven. Their love for body modifications, as well as their shared interest in the art of tattoos, solidified their bond, culminating in a union that has remained unbroken since. Together, this couple are recognized as the most tattooed senior citizens in their respective genders. The couple is said to have spent a combined 2,000 hours in the tattooist's chair in order to achieve this perfect inking of their bodies. Surprisingly, Charlotte didn't actually start getting tattoos until she turned 57, and now at 76, she claims to have reached her limit after 98.75% of her body has been covered in ink. Charles, however, still has a long way to go, with just 97.5% of his body inked. The two consider themselves walking art galleries, and they might not be wrong. Even more interesting is the backstory behind Charlotte's first tattoo. You see, on that day in November 2006, she had decided to get her first tattoo as a personal birthday gift for her 57th birthday. This was shortly after the death of her second husband, who had prevented her from getting any ink on her body while he was alive. Now that he was gone, this was Charlotte's first venture into living on her own terms, and as fate would have it, it was on that very day that she met someone with as much passion for tattoos as she had. Charles, however, has been getting inked since he was 18. His first tattoo was in 1959, during his basic training with the United States Army. The duo have been crowned the world's most tattooed OAP four times in a row, a record that will probably remain unbroken for a long time. Before we go on with the rest of the video, here's our subscribers pick for today. Meet Linda Bannon and her son Timmy, who were both born with a unique deformity. Due to a rare genetic disorder known as Holt-Oram syndrome, the mother and child were born without arms. Because of this anomaly, they had to learn to use their feet, just like everybody else uses their hands. During her own childhood, Bannon was surrounded by a loving family, who didn't make her feel any different from her other siblings. She hopes to show her son this same kind of love and acceptance, equipping him with the skills he needs to adapt to life without arms. The story of the mother and child continues to inspire us as they break down every barrier that should have stopped them from living the life they truly deserve. Share your thoughts about this fascinating story with us in the comments section. Now, let's get back to the video. Number 5. The Duggar Family Here's a story you might be familiar with. Meet the Duggars, an Arkansas family, who became famous following the success of their TLC reality show 19 Kids and Counting. Jim Bob Duggar and his wife Michelle Rourke got married on July 21, 1984. They both work in real estate and are quite successful in their fields. Jim served two terms as a state legislator in Arkansas between 1998 and 2003. Together with his wife and numerous children, Jim resides in Tontytown, Washington County in northwestern Arkansas. So, why did this couple decide to have so many children? Well, it all started after the birth of their first child. You see, initially, Jim and Michelle planned to have very few children. Their first child came without any hitch, but the second pregnancy crept in while Michelle was on birth control. Unfortunately, it ended in a miscarriage, which led the couple to believe that the loss of their unborn child was a result of their use of birth control. According to their Baptist faith and conservative beliefs, the use of birth control methods was a sin against God. So they both decided to let God decide how many kids they would have. In total, the Duggar family consists of 19 children, including two sets of twins and one adopted child. Although their TV show has been canceled due to some huge controversy, their story continues to inspire shock and awe in the hearts and minds of everyone. Number 4. Seven Little Johnstons the Johnstons are often regarded as one of the most interesting families in America. If you watch a lot of reality TV, there's a high chance you probably know who these guys are. But in case you don't, here's a brief introduction. Trent Johnston and his wife Amber are a couple who suffer from a condition known as achondroplasia dwarfism. The couple had actually met at a convention for little people, and it was love at first sight. Three and a half years later, they got married and began to put together one of the most heartwarming stories you've ever had. 
First, they were blessed with two children, Johan and Elizabeth. Not surprisingly, the two kids were also born with achondroplasia dwarfism. Because they understood the challenges that usually accompany living with this condition, the couple decided to adopt as many children with the condition as they could. This family is like the United Nations. First, there's Anna, whom the couple had adopted from Russia. According to Trent and Amber, they had had to travel to Russia and spent 16 days processing the adoption before they were able to come home with their bundle of joy. Then, there's Alex, a South Korean boy who was abandoned by his birth parents. As soon as the couple got wind of his story, they knew they had to adopt him. Through an escort service, they were able to transport Alex from South Korea to the United States, and he has since found love in their open arms. Finally, there's Emma, although this time around, the couple had to travel again, this time to China, before they were able to adopt her. Together, they form a loving family of seven little people, and their hit show on TLC has brought much awareness to the rigors of living with dwarfism. They hope that as their story spreads further, it will inspire acceptance and support from the rest of the world, bringing a great reduction to the alienation they face because of their physical appearance. Number 3. The Vampire Couple Vampires have long been ingrained into pop culture, with several beloved movies and series immortalizing their existence. But beyond the big screen, one has to wonder if these blood-sucking creatures exist in real life. Here's a couple that might be the closest thing we'll get to a real-life vampire. Meet Daly and Logan South, known as the king and queen of the vampire court of Austin, Texas. This couple live their everyday lives as vampires. This case is deeper than cosplay. These individuals actually believe that if they do not feed on blood or stay too long in the sun, they would become ill or even die. While some may call it delusion, these guys are perfectly happy and don't seem to be hurting anybody. You should also know that they are not alone. As a matter of fact, statistics show that there are over 5,000 vampires in the United States alone, so you may have to watch your back when you're taking that nightly jog. However, this couple doesn't really go out to feed on other people's blood. Instead, they relish the taste of their own blood. The couple also recently launched an event planning business, and they plan to throw several weird and wacky ceremonies to propagate their beliefs. Number 2. The De Silva Family for most people, five fingers is usually enough, but this family challenges the norm by growing an extra finger on both hands and even extra toes. Meet the Da Silva family of Brazil, known for their peculiar six fingers and six toes. This anomaly is due to a condition known as polydactyly, which resulted in extra appendages. Fourteen members of this family were born with six fingers on each hand and six toes on each foot. Despite the constant strange stares they have to endure from the general public, these guys are very proud of their additional digits. You would think that having six fingers would be a bother, but in reality, the extra finger actually makes life easier for the members of this family. While some female family members have had to surgically remove their six toe so they can fit into feminine shoes, the men retained their six toes. The family are very comfortable with their extra fingers and aren't afraid of discrimination. Number 1. The Rapunzel Family Meet this remarkable family with hair that will definitely make you jealous. Terilyn Russell and her three children live in Morris, Illinois, and they have captivated the world with their really long hair. The mother herself claims she has not cut her hair since birth. The hair has since grown to nearly six feet long, which is pretty impressive. She has become a regular winner at the longest ponytail competitions, which takes place at annual fairs in their area. The daughters are also close to matching her achievements, with her eldest daughter Callan's hair stretching for over three feet. Then there's Sendaline with three feet of hair, and the youngest daughter Chesney, clocking in at two feet and two inches. As you would expect, living with such long hair can be pretty challenging, but Tara Lynn has taught her real-life Rapunzels to take good care of their hair and avoid getting into serious accidents. Some house rules include keeping their hair up while in the kitchen, especially when around the stove. This way, the long hair doesn't get in the way, leading to serious injuries for the kids. Tara Lynn also trained her daughters to braid each other's hair, although the only male child in the family doesn't really have as much hair as his sisters. Even though Tara Lynn Russell has committed to never cutting her hair, she insists that her children are free to make their own choices and that she would support them if any of them ever decided to cut her hair. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.